Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Regrowth with myself, Lewis. It'd be brilliant having yourself a great day as always. We went through some of the updates in the last episode and between now and then I have beelined straight for that aluminium. Oh yes, I've managed to get myself some which is great. I've got a few seeds which are growing out here and one thing that I forgot to mention in the last episode is that farming has actually drastically changed as well. So I showed off the dirt that we can make now using garden core and that dirt is actually what you need now to be able to plant magic crops. So you can't go doing that on any regular grass now. At least I don't think you can. Like we can test it here because uh, eventually I'm going to have to change these fields around. While they're like this, I think they're fine while they're like this. But actually none of them have grown. <laughs> oh no, some on the sides have grown. That's good. I recently kind of pulled all of these up. But yeah, if we kind of got rid of these guys now. And then we put you down and yeah, see? So now you have to use the fertile soil and you can hoe that and use that. So our aluminium field back here is using just that. This isn't regular tilled soil down there. It's tilled garden soil from Garden Core. And uh, like I said, we went in the last episode, we showed off how to make that. So you're going to have to use that from now onwards. And if you've got any fields that are already set up, it looks like they're still working just fine. Uh, things are growing. I can see some stage two growth around here somewhere. <laughs> But that's pretty much that. So what we're going to do today is hopefully be able to make ourselves some allium. I also got some sheep. That's another thing. So we kept running out of wool and such. And it was getting, uh, you know, it was becoming a little bit of a problem. So I decided to go ahead and get me some sheep. Which is great. And they look like the next upgrade from the, uh, from the chickens. You know, we needed eggs to be able to make the sheep's eggs. So, yeah, that's a bit weird, but that's how it works. We keep having all these explosions going off. Since the update, I think there was like an Ender Io change, not Ender Io, there was an Ender Zoo change round. And, uh, man, <laughs> like, they need to tone the guys down. Things explode all over the place, and these dire wolves are the most annoying thing I've ever had in Minecraft. <laughs> Constantly howling at night. Uh, luckily, we have a bed now, but, man, if you don't have a bed, I feel sorry for you, because that's annoying. Alright, so, let's go and make ourselves a little bit of Aliumite. It's actually been so long since I've made Aliumite that I've pretty much forgot the recipe for it. So, we're going to have to go through this. I know it needs aluminium. I know it needs obsidian. But I can't remember what the one is. I think it might be iron or tin, but let's have a look. You see. So, we're going to need ourselves aluminium. Yeah, iron and obsidian. We need five aluminium, two iron and two obsidian. I can't actually remember if the obsidian blocks count as two each like the ores, but we'll see. So we'll put you in there. So we need two of you, five of you, and a few of you. And uh, you know what, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna see what happens. So if we throw you guys in there, and then we want, uh, what's that, three, four, five, and that. We'll try it with one first, and we'll see what happens. All right, it looks like we have our Alumai, which is great. We have three bits in there. And it looks like one of these did equal two, which is brilliant because now we have just enough. So, let's try and do this. Now, we need to make a pickaxe head. Now, I think we can upgrade our stuff. I haven't actually tried it yet, so maybe we can't, but we're about to find out. But we do need an alley white pickaxe head, and I'm hoping this is going to work. So, if we place you in here with this. Yes! <laughs> Very nice. That gives us alley white. Very cool indeed. Now, another thing that I do want to get, because eventually we are going to use this tool, but for now it's just going to do its stuff in my bag. Um, I would also like to get ourselves some of this stuff. Now, I think we can make, yes, we can make moss stone with this. So if we do you, and then we do this. Now, we're just going to make a buttload of it, because, well, why not? And if we do this, yeah, ball of moss. Very nice. We're going to want to put these on here so we make sure that we can obviously have our tool being all mossy and whatnot. So, auto repairs. So, now I don't have to worry about it, which is good. So, you can go back in there. You can go over here somewhere. There we go. And let's have a little sleep is because if we don't, the wolves will come out. And we don't want that to happen. So, there we go. Cool beans. All right. So, we got one of these guys. We still haven't got a decent... Um, rod on it yet but we will do you know at some point i'm not really that fussed about it at the minute the main thing is that we can now go and mine the stuff in the nether that we need to mine 
which is very important. I'm actually thinking, before we go to the Nether, let's make something... Oh, my God. <laughs> They're back. Where are they? Oh, my God. Are you, like, out here somewhere? Oh, you're right there. All right, we're going to have to go and slay this guy first. No, Mr. Chicken, you know exactly what I'm going to do, so you're trying to be all, be all weird about it. We're going to get rid of this die wolf quickly. Where are you? Come here. There we go. Yeah, you can just drown down there. Good stuff. Uh, you actually dropped a tongue of dog right there, didn't you? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> totally forgot that we needed the goggles right there. Ooh, that was a close one. Huh. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, we got rid of the wolf, which is one good thing. The other thing that I want to do before we go to Zeneva is I would like to make a bag. Because, you know, we're lobbing all our stuff around here. It's taking ages. I just want to just wanna make a little bag. So let's get ourselves a chest. Because I think we need a chest. There we go. And we need some wool. And we also need some string. So let's grab some of you. And that should give us some string. And I think that's all we need. So let's have a looky-see in here. So I want to make a bag. And uh, there's a particular one that we can make. Yes. Sweet. Got ourselves a little bag. It doesn't hold much, but it holds enough. So we can put all of these guys in here. We can put a Pharmanomicon, a Wand Thing, a uh, Bookbinder. What else have we got? We're not going to use these, are we? We can put you in there. That looks good to me. And our food. Sweet. You can go like there. Cool, alright, and we can upgrade these, we have to enchant them to upgrade them, but that's not bad. There's another direwolf. <laughs> alright, I'm out of it, I'm going, I'm going to the nether. Forget about that guy. Let's go and do this. So we should be able to mine ourselves up some of the new ores now. Now where did I build my nether pool? There it is. Yeah, we should be able to get some of the new ones. Hopefully... We can now get redstone. It's something that I really, really, really want to be able to get is redstone. Because it's going to make our life so much easier. Because then I can make things like the hopper hocks. We can move on to the other mods. We really need to be getting on with that. Kind of as soon as possible. Got to do a little load. I dare you. Cool beans. Let's have ourselves a pumpkin pie. Very nice. Oh, and I just got myself a gluttony shard. <laughs> if anyone's been watching my Feed the Beast Infinity series... You would notice that that is uh, what we was doing in the last episode. So we need to find ourselves some pig iron, I believe, to be able to do this. What's this? Uh, this is tin. Well, we might as well grab the tin. Well, all right. We're going to annoy all the pig dudes. They don't really like it when we steal their ores, but that's, uh, you know, that's tough. See here. And there's a certain way around it, but I can't remember the way down. I think it's there. Let's have a look. We want to go around this way and down here. And I think this is Osmium. Yeah. We can't mine osmium yet. Can we mine gold? Oh, we can. That's great. Cool beans. All right, we can mine gold, which is good. That's the uh, next seed that's on my list to be mined or to be able to get is that. So now we can get gold. That's a bonus. Oh, yeah, that's what you get. And what's this? Sulfur. We don't want sulfur. Is that some more tin or is that osmium? I can never tell the difference between tin and osmium for some reason. That is osmium. I think osmium has a bit of a blue tint to it, which is one thing. What have we got over here? Let's have a look over this side. And I, I think we can get redstone all here. I think we can. You know, it's a never ore, so hopefully. Rutil. No, we can't have that. Let's have a look up here. That's going to be osmium. Some more stuff down there. I think this is coal. Yeah, that's coal. So we don't want that at the minute. We'll take the gold, though. I want to get as much gold... As I can. The more gold I can have now, the better. Although I think that might blow up. Did we get it? We got it. We're good. <laughs> Whenever you hear the, uh, the, 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 that sound, you need to basically mine up the whole vein as fast as you can. There we go. So we've already got 11 bits of gold, which is definitely a bonus. So I'm all about that. I wonder if we can mine cobalt now. We should be able to mine cobalt now that we've got this. So that's going to be handy. Oh, man, I put my... Where is it? There we go. Man of Steel Shovel. Cool beans. You can go there. Okie dokie. So this is Cobalt. Can we mine you? 
No. Alright, so we can't mine cobalt. I'm not too sure what we're going to need. Oh, is this redstone? Ah. Oh. <laughs> we can't mine it yet. Oh, no. It's the one thing I wanted. Alright, well, we'll keep going this way. We're going to ignore that for now. Our quest book actually has the type of ore we need in it. We don't need iron. I believe it's pig iron that we need to be able to do this. Let's have a look. It's gold. There's a load of pig men around here. It's pretty scary. Iron ore. What's this? Iron. Cobalt. Uh, that's rutil. I don't think we can mine rutil. No. Are I? No. Hmm. Coal. I'm getting a little bit worried that we're moving a little bit too far away from the portal that I'm going to get lost. <laughs> I've always got that in the back of my head that this is going to go very wrong. Let's have a little looky-see around here. We'll go around the edge of the lava lake because I know that I just have to go back around the edge. It makes it a little bit easier that way. But I think that's the one we're looking for. If we actually have a look in our quest book, it should tell us which one we need. Uh, we've actually got an unclaimed reward, so what did we do? Did I do something that dons me a reward? Let's have a look in here. Uh, uh, ooh. Oh, we made a bag. <laughs> it gives me a lime bag. All right, we'll collect that one later. Let's keep going. One here is for this. I think it's this one. So, Alumite Harvest is for golden. Ah, oh, we need saltpeter. Ah, well, we've actually, we've probably gone past a buttload now. I thought we needed something else. What's this? That's quartz. Uh, this looks like saltpeter. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we angered the pigmen. <laughs> I was wondering right then when we did it, we didn't have a guy go mental. Cool beans. How are we looking? We're looking good. We're looking good. I'm a little worried we're going to have like a million of them come after us, but I think we're good. And we did just get ourselves another raft shard, which is great. So let's grab the rest of this. There we go. Good stuff. Being a little bit careful. Just because we're right next to the lava, I don't want to get pushed in the lava. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. All right. We're going to go up this way. We're going to be very quiet. Hopefully not going to aggro all the pig dudes. Because that would be a bad idea. There we go. We're looking good. We got a load of whiffs around here, but I think that's fine. These guys generally aren't much of a problem. Are they going to come and attack me? This pig guy definitely wants to go. Oh. Yeah, that's what you get. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Go away. <laughs> go away! We actually get from these guys, I think we get... Oh. Tongue of dog. Yeah, look, you can see them all going all over the place. That's good. We're going to need a lot of that for witchery, so if we can grab as much as we can now... We're going to be in business. Cool beans. All right, so what's this up here? This is salt. Never quartz. All right, we don't need never quartz. That's never quartz. We've, I think we've already got enough now to actually hand the quest in. We've got three bits there. Are these guys still aggro to me? <laughs> Just hide around the corner for a second. Uh, yeah, we've actually done it. So the next one is Fulmium Harvest. Ah, so we've got gold and saltpeter. And once we get into Fulmium, we can do redstone or lapis and rutil. So what do we need to be able to do the fulmium? I guess we needed the gold. So with the gold we can do something that's needed in the fulmium side of things, but I could already make the gold ore, so you know, that's a bit of a strange one. But it looks like this is what we need to do next. So the fulmium harvest is going to be the next thing, and I'm guessing it's the gold we needed to be able to do that. I think the base is up over this way. <laughs> this is where I get horrendously lost, but I, no, it's up there. I know where it is now. We've been here a couple of times. I'm kind of getting used to it now in which way we need to go. But we have got some gold ore, which is great. Gold ore is going to be mega useful. There is actually something I want to make that needed gold. I can't remember what it is, but there is definitely something out there. The other thing I don't understand is how are we meant to do most of the Fulmium stuff if we don't have access to 
shards. You know, we don't have any farmcraft shards, so... Unless there's a particular type of plant that we can make, which is going to be a little bit later down the line. Maybe there's like a... Like a strong essence plant or something. We'll have a look in a second. Let's make our way into base. And we'll have a little looky-see inside our book. Or inside any eye, even. And, uh... Let's see if we can do this. So if we wanted, say, a shard. You know, we wanted like a regular water shard. What can we have? Oh, that looks like it. Infused shard seeds. And these balance shards. Essence of shards. So you need all the different types of runes. So if we wanted, say, like an air shard... Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, so we have to grow these to be able to do that. And we're going to need those if we're going to make Fulmium. At least I think so. Unless there's a particular type of, like, Fulmium seed that we can have. Let's have a look. So we want to make regular dandy Fulmium. Oh, my God, the wolf's outside again. <laughs> it's going to be the bane of my existence. Um, no, we can't do that. It sounded like he was over there. Let's just sleep first, otherwise millions of them are going to come out. Uh... <laughs> come on, let me in bed, let me in bed. Yeah, I think I might just disable those guys in the config, because they are so annoying. And they don't stop. They never stop. Where is he? He's over that way. I don't even want to go out there, because there's a concussion, there's a concussion creeper out over there. Let's put these things in here. So there was something I wanted to make that used gold. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but I think it was a... It was a Conjuration Catalyst. That was the one. Now I remember it. Yeah. So, let's fill you up with that. And we've got a couple of ingots worth in here. You just went in there. That was a real bad idea. <laughs> Did you manage to get out? Are you inside there? Is there a chicken in here? Chick, chick, chicken? I don't know. If there is, he's gone. <laughs> that's... Oh, no, there isn't. There is blood in there. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, well. We can drain that out at some point. But for now, yeah. <laughs> Can't believe he went in there. That chicken. All right. So, we've got some of these. So, yeah. I wanted to do that. The other thing that I wanted to make as well, which I think we can do today, and it's going to be pretty important, is make ourselves some uh, we want to make an altar because that's going to be the next thing it's gonna be very important actually and the uh blood magic stuff's gonna be good but we need to go through witchery first before we can do that so i think witchery then di then kind of ties into farmcraft and then farmcraft and witchery tie into blood magic so i think that's kind of how it goes but if we're going to do anything like that we need an altar which means we need rowan we need stone bricks but more importantly we need these two types of um of, of smelly things. <laughs> so the first one is going to be oak saplings. Now be exhale of the horned one. So we're going to need to get ourselves some of that. So let's have a little looky scene here. I've actually got some birch saplings, but I'd rather not use them until these ones have grown. I think I might need to remove these areas at the top because these birch guys don't seem to want to grow at the minute. But, you know, we might actually get what we need. I did add another one of the fume funnels on top and on the side. So we've got a pretty good chance of getting what we need. So let's try it out. We use one. We haven't got enough st stuff yet to add the filters onto them yet, though. So, yeah, there we go. So, we've got an exile of the horned one. And we need ourselves one of these. And I think we need to make two of these, I think. So, I might make a couple more. Let's try doing that. Let's get another one of these. If we can get it. We've got a pretty good chance of getting it now. Because we've got all these additional filters on it. So, there's another one of those. And then we need our birch sapling. And hopefully, this is going to give us one of these ones the goddess yeah good stuff so we can put you in there cool beans and our and our tongues of dog because <laughs> uh you know why not and we might as well put all of this stuff in here these are kind of mob drops i guess so they can go in there have the rotten brain and ores can go in here oh no there's another dog <laughs> <laughs> all right so we've got exhale the horned one we've got our breath of the goddess and we have our altar stuff we need rowan water bottles and stone so let's get some rowan and i think between this and the next episode i'm gonna go ahead and make a when i put my rowan oh it's over here yeah i think between this and the next episode i'm gonna make a specific area for witchery we're probably gonna need that with all of this so i'm gonna need four bits of rowan let's get some stone there we go and we're also going to need some water bottles so let's get ourselves three bits of glass sweet and this should 
do the trick for us. I can't actually remember the size of this thing there needs to be, but we're gonna we're gonna wing it because <laughs> uh, that's what we do. So let's start by making our altar pieces. So we want. Yeah, I can't shift click you, can I? All right, so we'll do that, and then we want a water bottle. We want these guys, and we want you and you. And that gives me altar, and I think we need to do it again. So let's try this again. Uh, what am I missing? We got Rowan. Oh, I'm thinking it's you there. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right, so let's see if we've done this right. So I think it's like this. Yes. All right. We've managed to make an altar. Look how cool that is. And this is going to be able to pull in energy from around. Now, the way these altars work is the more living stuff around them, the more power that they can make. So if we can have, like, you know, grass and seeds and plants and trees and whatnot we're going to be making more power inside our altar which is going to be very important for when we start doing spells and you know there's a few witchery machines that run off of the energy that this makes as well as things that we can place on top to increase the capacity and the regeneration rate and such so we're going to need to make an area to be able to do this it's going to be filled with trees and stuff and i'm thinking we're going to do it right next to the batania one just over that way so kind of behind this wall i might knock this wall out and have it in there so we can do that but that should actually do another quest for us as well. Uh, let's do this Baggins one. There we go. And I believe we have one down here now, which should be done. Yes, cool beans. And this opens up a load of new stuff for us. So this gives us some Spanish moss, some pumpkins, and some melons. Cool beans. And then we now have more mutation, which makes the mutandus extremist. So some plants are still unable to mutate. Uh, it's still to be mutated using simple mutandus, but you've found a way to create a more potent version of the stuff and bind it with some other magics to be even more potent. Making mutandus extremist requires about 50 power from a nearby altar. So yeah, and we've actually, you know, we've got that in there. So let's have a look at what we need for mutandus extremist. I think this can be a little bit more potent. We're going to need a witch's cauldron. We're going to put in a never war and some mutandus. Okay. Now, I've never actually used this witch's oven before. But if I was to take a random guess, I'm going to say that the stuff's going to burn. And we're probably not going to want that to happen. Well, there's actually not really anything around here that can burn, except for that. So if we place a little bit of cobblestone around, we're going to quickly try this out. Because we're getting near the end of the episode today. But I'd like to give this a go. So if we do this, and we get rid of these... There we go. And we'll place some cobble. Let's get rid of you. Oh, can I not? Oh, I guess it takes up the whole block. That's fine. So I'll do that. And let's do that. Cool beans. And we're going to place fire beneath it, I guess. You know, sometimes you have to use fire. I'm pretty sure it's fire. Like, Witchery used to use a different means of doing this. It never used to use... Well, it used to have its cauldron, but it was like a... a, a it had, like, little sticks on it. And that used to always need fire below it. So I think we're going to go roll with that first and see if that's what we need. I should have my flint and steel. Yeah, here we go. So let's place this guy down under here. So we'll put you there. We'll light you up. Do you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's not good. Go out. All right, we'll put you there. Okay. I think that is going to hopefully work. I'm worried that we're setting things alight behind it, so we've got to be a little bit careful that I don't, you know, burn the base down. But let's get ourselves some water, and we'll give this a try. It should be able to reach our altar. So place you in there. There's not much in there. Do we need like a... I don't know how much we need in there. <laughs> I've never actually used one of, the, one of these before. I guess I should probably read the book because we have got a book for this. Oh look, it is bubbling. Okay, well we'll fill up a little bit more. You know, I don't think it's any harm doing that. There we go. So it's bubbling away, which looks good. Okay. So now what do we do? We add the stuff in and then it just goes poof. And gives us what we need. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> so we need some mutandis. And we need a never wart. Okay. And uh, I'm guessing we just throw these in. And see what happens. Or do I have to click on it? I did a whole lot of nothing right there. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> we got some mutandis. Very nice. And did we only need to make one, or is that... Yeah, look, check that out. Now we need a mutanding sprig. Which it... Oh, I'm worried that my things behind here are burning down. <laughs> How many do we need for those? So, uh... The mutanding sprig can be used to mutate some things in specific configurations. To make it, you'll need about 3,080 ultra power if the cauldron isn't augmented by chalk circles. Alright, so it looks like we've got a little bit more work to do before we can make this. But at least we've managed to get ourselves the mutandist extremis. And there is this mutanding... Uh, this muting sprig. Which is never warp and twig mutandis. And that gives us that guy. But we need a pretty decent amount of power for that. It says in here that we need... What's that? Uh, to make it, you'll need about 3,080 ultra power. So we are going to have to go ahead. We're going to have to relocate our altar to a place that's a little bit more convenient. Get ourselves a large area filled with plants and saplings and growing things and, and, and you know, Spanish moss. <laughs> and that will increase our power. As well as getting ourselves some trinkets on top, you know, some skulls, some chalices, things like that. It's going to be awesome. But I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Have yourself a great day. Have a goodness always. And bye-bye.